good afternoon students this is kambar prasad today we are discussing the subject r programming in that we are in the unit 3 here in unit 3 we are discussing the graphical representation or graphical analysis the graphical analysis is very very important to represent or to show the relationships and then the way it is varying and how the data is analyzed or how the data is structured etc now coming to this one this is about the chapter 1 unit 3 r programming and then introduction to graphical analysis this is the first chapter in unit 3 first chapter this is the first chapter in unit 3 now here it represents the graphical analysis the, these are the topics which are available in this graphical analysis are box whisker plots scatter plots pairs plots these are also called as multiple correlation plots line charts pie charts the cleveland dot charts bar charts and finally copy graphics to other applications now how we are copying the prepared graphical representations in r programming language how these are moved to the other applications here in this video we are discussing box whisker plots as well as scatter plots these two concepts we are discussing in this video now coming to the next slide here the box whisker plots box whisker plots now here what is actually the purpose of the box whisker plot is this is used to represent the summary of the data now what is actually the summary of the data here is it will display the median and then maximum and min values as well as some of the quartile values the box whisker plot it is also called as the box plot is a useful way to visualize complex data where you have multiple samples if you are having multiple samples we can display the multiple sample data in a compact manner the basic form of the box whisker plot shows the median value the quartiles these are also called as hinges and the maximum values this means that you get a lot of information in a compact manner maximum number of information in a concise and compact manner the box whisker plot is also useful to visualize a single sample it is also used to visualize the single sample because it shows the out layers if you choose the box plot command now here we are using the box plot command which is especially used to create the box whisker plots box plot command generally plot command is used to plot the graphicals or graphs here for the purpose of box whisker plots we are using box plot command what is actually the whiskers mean some set of uh, things just like in telugu lo cheppalante manaku misal lantu you large cellal on the internet what the man specify is now this is about the box whisker plots we can use box plot to visualize one of the variables here just you can specify by using the dollar symbol here box plot fw dollar speed now it is a data frame in that data frame for the purpose of only one sample that is speed we are creating the box plot it produces a simple graph like now we are showing the graph in the next slide that is the 7.1 which is available in 7.1 of the particular chapter this graph shows the typical layout of the box whisker plot here the stripe shows the median one stripe is available in the box it shows the median and then the box represents the upper and lower hinges upper and lower hinges and the whiskers show the maximum and minimum values maximum and minimum. here the box shows the quartile information 
and then in between in the box within the box one thing is available that is actual one stripe is available that shows the median now coming to the if you have several items to plot we can simply give the vector names in the box plot command we can directly specify when many number of um, samples and we can plot the many number of samples by using the box plot command here the command is box plot fw dollar count comma fw dollar sp here these two can represent the information clear information that means two samples that one is a count one another one is a speed now it is also shows in the figure 7.2 these two are con condensed and shown in the next slide in this case you can specify vectors that correspond to the two columns in the data frame but they could be completely separate here you can also easily specify these are the two columns which are available in the two data frames here we are completely separating that one and then displaying like a box whisker plot just to show you here you can see the diagram here this is figure that is a figure 7.1 here just one box is there and then hinges box edges those are the quartile information one horizontal line is there in the box thick horizontal line is there that is that specifies the median of the sample here comes to the 7.2 two samples we are taking one is for the speed as well as something count and the speed two samples are there and for the purpose of two samples we had one for the purpose of one sample we are taking the whiskers and the first one we are not taking the whiskers now this is about the diagram which represents which shows the box whisker plots now coming to the same box whisker plot continuation customizing the box whisker plots or box plots now if you show the graph without specifying any names or if any structural information or some information it is useless here you can use excel lab and y lab excel label as well as y label instructions to specify the accesses names we can use the names instruction to set the labels currently displaying the one and two normally it can display one and two values we can use names instruction or names command by using the by specifying the names for the as well as names for the box etc something here now one of the example for this one is box plot of fw dollar count fw dollar speed comma names is equal to c of count comma speed now here we are using for the purpose of count we are using the f dollar fw dollar count we are using count and then speed now the first one is count and then the second one is speed these are the names for the variable here also we are using title command this title command can specify what is the x label x label what is x label what is in the x direction x axis and what is the name for the y axis in the x axis we are specifying the variable and y y axis we are specifying the value these are also specified by using this is uh, shown in the next slide in this case you use the title command to add the axis label but you could have specified x label and y label in the box plot command also the box plot also command the box plot command also command also contain the instructions like instruction like x label and y label you can also specify those two instructions in the box plot command also here in this example we are specifying by using the title command now coming to here you can use the range is equal to instruction also if you specify range equal to 0 the whiskers extend the maximum and minimum values if you specify the range like this now the whiskers are extended if you specify some range those the whiskers are extended up to particular range only it, it does not show the out layers now this is about the thing if you specify range is equal to 0 it extends up to the out layer the simple sample value out layer sample values but if you specify range is equal to something some value it can extend up to the specific value or some value only coming to this one this is example for this one box plot of 
some FW dollar count, FW dollar speed, names is equal to C of count comma something, the range is equal to zero, X label we are specifying, Y label we are specifying, and also we are specifying the color. Here gray 90 is the color we are specifying for the purpose of the graph. Now we can also specify different types of colors for the purpose of box plots. Now this is about the diagrammatic representation or diagram. Here the first one is here we are specifying the labels. Here in the X direction we are specifying <coughs> the variable and in the Y direction we are specifying something value etc. Here also variable and value combination we are using. This is about the thing here we are specifying some if you see the right side diagram, right side figure, now it specifies some different color, gray value, light gray value. The box represents a different color. It is not pure white. It represents a different color that is specified by using the gray 90. Color is equal to gray 90. Now coming to the continuation of this one. This means you have one vector containing all the numerical data. It is also used for one vector also by grouping some information as a test. Already here some scientific notation we are using that is actually the formula notation that is very, very important. Already we discussed about the formula notation somehow by testing T test, T dot test. When doing so, we use the tilde symbol to separate the response variable to the left and the predictor with grouping variable to the right. Now here, generally if you are specifying two variables continuously, that is the first variable and then box plot of first variable comma second variable. Here, if the data available like a predictor variable and a response variable, here if you specified like that means Tilt operator is the tilt operator is used to specify the formula notation. For that formula notation, the first variable comes the response variable and then tilt operator and then predictor variable. The variable which contains the grouping is, is, is used as a predictor variable which is specified as a right side to the tilt operator. Now this is also specified. You can also instruct the command where to find the data and set range is equal to zero. And also if you are specifying in the last example, we are clearly specifying the table name, the object name, but here you are not specifying the object name. If you are not specifying the object name means you have to take it as a, you have to take some data from the particular object. Here also what is that is specified by using the data instruction, data is equal to. Now here you can see box plot of rich tilt operator grass. The grass contains some grouping values from that grouping and rich you are preparing the box plot. Data is equal to grass and then range is equal to zero. And finally we are giving the title of here also you are using separate title command for the purpose of creating the label that is the cutting treatment is in the X label and then specifies richness. Richness is there in the Y label. Now this is about the X label as well as Y label. Now coming to the same same box whisker. Here the box whisker plots are prepared as a horizontal plots also. We can also prepare these as a horizontal plots. Normally it can be displayed as a vertical plots. Vertical maximum, minimum and some median is there and one box we are specifying like that. With a simple additional instruction, you can display the bars horizontally rather than vertically, which is the default. Now, vertically is the default. We can also display the box whisker plots in the horizontal fashion also by using the specific command or by adding some additional instruction. That is horizontal is equal to true. Now here, box plot of rich tilt operator grass comma data is equal to grass, range is equal to zero, horizontal is equal to true. That is the additional instruction we are adding here. 
Now title of Y label is equal to cutting treatment. X label is equal to species richness. The same thing we are discussed in the last slide. Now this can display the plot diagram in the horizontal manner, not in the vertical manner. The box whisker plot is very useful because it conveys a lot of information in the compact manner is able to produce this type of plot very easily. This can be very, very useful plotting mechanism. By using this one, you can display maximum number of information and very useful information. <clears throat> By seeing the box whisker plots, we can easily get what is the median of the sample and what are the <coughs> boundaries of the sample, aggregate value that is quartiles of the sample and what are the outlayers which are available, maximum outlayer and minimum outlayers which are available in the sample, we can easily get the maximum amount of information from this one. And we can also extract the more than we can also prepare the graph, the box whisker plots for maximum number of samples also. Now this is about the clear information about the box whisker plots. Now coming to the diagrammatic representation of this one, here we can see <coughs> the horizontal box, box whisker plot. Here, the two samples are displayed in the horizontal. Normally, it is uh, looks like vertical, but uh, here in this sample or in this photograph or in this figure, the horizontal representation of the box whisker plots. <coughs> now, this is about the clear information about box whisker plots. These are very, very important for the representing the maximum number of information in a compact manner. Now coming to the next type of plots, so scatter plots. Now this is just like normal graphs we are using to prepare for the two, two sets of variables, two types of variables which are available. For that purpose, we are preparing normal graphs or normal plots. These are <coughs> scatter plots also similar to the normal plots or normal graphs. The basic plot command is a general function that can be pressed into the service for the variety of uses. Many specialized statistical routines include a plotting routine to produce a specialized graph. The plot command is very, very useful command, which is especially used to produce the XY scatter plots. The scatter plot is used especially to show the relationship between two variables, two variables relationship, you know, how the, uh, these two are related, it can show. Here, the first comes one, basic scatter plots. The following data frame contains two columns of numerical values, and because they contain same number of observations, they could form the basis for the scatter plot. Now, two samples are there, two samples contain the same number of values. Here, the basic form of the plot command requires you to specify the X and Y data. Each being a numeric vector, the syntax is plot of x comma y. We can also specify some additional things, x label, y label, or so and so. Different types of things are available, what type of colors we are using, etc. The minimum thing is it requires two samples, those x and y. Here, an example for this one is plot of fw dollar speed comma fw dollar count. And then we can display the same thing by using with command and then attach command also. Already we discussed about the width as well as attach. Now coming to the width command, width of we are specifying some command that means FW. From that one we are taking the data, comma plot of speed comma count. From the FW we are plotting speed comma count that is specified in the width command. Now coming to the attach. If you attach some table or something, directly you can get, get the information from those tables without specifying the table name or object name something. Now, next command you can see here, plot of speed comma count. Here the speed and count can take it from the FW. FW is directly attached to this one. From that attachment, we are taking the speed and the count. Now, this is about the scatter plot. Now you can see the example of the scatter plot in the next slide. Now some plotting symbols. Now normally you are using small circles to plot the scatter plots. 
we can also change different types of symbols by using some PCH is equal to instruction. You can use many other graphical parameters to modify your basic scatter plot. You might want to alter the plotting symbol. For example, this is useful for you to earn more additional points. You get the graph. <clears throat> Here the PCH is equal to instruction refers to the plotting character. PCH means plotting character and can be specified in one of several ways. We can type an integer value and this code will be reflected in the symbol character produced. Now, normally we are using some codes like 0 to 25. By using the codes like 0 to 25, we can plot a different character or you can take a different character. Now, these are available. Nearly 26 characters are available. Those can take the codes from 0 to 25. You get the symbols look like in the some some diagram we are specifying by using that one you can get the number of symbols from that now this is about the <coughs> example for the scatter plot here we are taking some uh, x variable is a one x label is there and y label is there just we are using some circles some small amount of circles we are using for that purpose now here uh, what is the value for the x axis and what is the same value which is available in the y axis <clears throat> here adding lines of best fit to scatter plot we can also add some lines here in the previous graph or previous uh, image just a small circles just points we are noting normally in the graphical representation those lines the, those points are connected by using the lines some set of lines we are using to connect all the points now that line is called as the a b line or the, some line now a b line is the command which is used to add a strike line here you can use the a b line command to add a strike line matching the slope and intercept of the series of points when you produce a QQ plot, some plot is there just like a QQ plot. We produced in the last class or last videos that QQ play as it is, we are preparing one line. That line is prepared by using the AB line command. You can do the same thing here. The first thing you need to determine the slope and intercept. Based on the slope and intercept, we are preparing some lines between the some point one point to the another point and then we are connecting all the points which are available in the scatter plot. Now this is about the graphical analysis chapter. In that graphical analysis chapter, we discussed about the two types of graphs in this video. That is box whisker plots as well as scatter plots. <clears throat> Thank you.